Since the Volvo C30 Electric is developed with both components from an original Volvo C30 and hundreds of brand new components and systems that today don't exist within the automotive industry, the project work has included extensive work on software development. During the development work, the software specialists have been focusing on the vehicle's software development to make sure that the entire car's different systems can communicate with each other without any problems. This includes the totally new software system related to the battery system and inverter. Overall, our work has resulted in some 30 new system specifications, which are all completely dependent on each other to meet requirements on safety, energy optimization, electrical functionality, and of course, the driving properties. These systems include a central electrical vehicle module, EVM, which is the electric car's key control unit that controls important systems like charging, climate systems, and safety. EVM also handles communication between the driver and the car's complex high-voltage systems, engine control and charging systems. The engine control module, ECM, that controls the electric motor is divided into three parts. The first part contains a safety system that ensures that the car does not react unexpectedly. The second part controls the engine's torque characteristics, particularly during brake regeneration without the risk of skidding on slippery road surfaces. And the third part is Volvo's complete vehicle control that manages all drivability features. Our main challenge has been to develop and integrate a lot of new technologies within a very short period of time. To do this, we have had to adapt our development processes. Software developers and system designers have been working very close together as a team throughout the project. This has shortened our software design loops and enable us to go quickly from idea to implementation when testing new ideas and concepts.